Right, here we go. Okay, so I have two very bright lights, which aren't even um, editing lights. They are all I can see of spots. Hold on. Oh, okay, don't look at the lights. Um, they are basically two bedside lamps because all my editing lights are stuck in my practice room, which I cannot get to. So, welcome to the video. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. I do not really do many sit down videos. I am more of a vlogger, but there is really only so far I can go at the minute because of the current situation. So I thought I would try and do a sit down vlog. This is going to be my top, I want to say five things, but it's maybe went to maybe eight things that kind of make self-isolation that wee bit easier. I am currently stuck in my boyfriend's parents' house. They have very kindly taken me in, which is great because I can't currently go to my own family's house. So yeah, it's a bit... I want to say difficult. It's not that difficult. They've been very appreciative. They have been looking after me. Um, I have been allowed to make endless cups of tea. Uh, this one is not in the things that make life easier, but it really does. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just talk you through, sorry, a few of the things that make self-isolation a wee bit easier every day. And um, it's mostly just kind of like beauty products. I thought I would do something that's maybe easier for people to maybe pick up or buy, or maybe they have lying around their house. Okay, I've been talking for too long. Let's get into the video. So first things first, um, it's kind of two in one. Okay, it's two separate products, but it's it's by the same company. So in the morning, when I get up, the first thing I do is get a shower, get a wash, and the sanctuary um, scrub is definitely one of my top things to use. It smells awesome. It is just easy to have. It just sits in the shower as most <laughs> shower things do. Yeah, it's definitely the smell. The smell, the smell does it for me. Yep, uh, gently refining everyday scrub. It's perfect. I don't know if you're maybe meant to use an exfoliator every day on your skin. I feel like if you use an exfoliator every day on your face, that's bad, but then your body's so much different than your face. I don't know. If you know, leave me a message in the comments below. After I get my shower, I put on the Sanctuary uh, Massage Body and Oil. I could just about pronounce that there. This is great. Smells just like that. It's just kind of like, what does it say? Luxurious moisturize moisturization with a precious blend of rose. Oh, okay, didn't even know that was in there. Um, cranberry, sunflower, s sunflower sweet almond, <laughs> uh, and grapeseed oil. It's just good. It just feels nice. These just work really well together. I'm really happy. I actually kind of picked these up before the whole thing kicked in, but I'm kind of glad I did. I just kind of spent a wee bit of money and was just like, I want to treat myself. So I bought these. And yeah, it's a really nice thing to wake up to every morning. I don't think I closed the lid on the oil. <laughs> so next one is the Elmis um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is a wee small size. I can't afford the big one. So this wee one was nine pounds. I think it was on Feel, Feel Unique. I saw another YouTuber using it and they just said it was amazing, so I just spent £9, got it, and I'm really glad I did. It is lovely to use. I would use it maybe twice a week because, you know, it's kind of wee, and you don't get that much in it, but a wee bit really does go a long way. It's just really nice. I just really enjoy using it. It just kind of makes me feel good at the end of the day when I've taken all my makeup off and used that. Next one. I have always had kind of problem skin. I'm too oily, I'm too dry, I have spots. I am in my 30s, I think. I never really had acne whenever I was a teenager, but definitely, I have definitely got adult acne. I try my hardest to deal with it. It's not easy, but this, that was too close, is um, actually really helpful. This is the La Roche-Posay Effector Duo Plus Anti-Imperfections. It's just really good. I also do have the gel. I use the gel mostly at night. And then um, in the morning, I just sometimes um, wash my face with water and then put this on. Just kind of keeps everything at bay. It smells quite nice. It kind of actually almost works well as like a primer. It's just a nice wee thing to have. Again, you can get this in boots, you can get this online. It's kind of available everywhere. I'm sure many people have it. Yeah, it's also meant to kind of just like help 
keep your acne at bay. So this one I have been using now for a couple of years and I definitely would recommend. Sorry, my battery died in my camera. So I basically finished the rest of my tea, I had a biscuit, waited for it to charge. I'm sure everybody knows at the minute that hand washing is one of the main things that everybody has to do. And here in the household, we have been doing a lot of hand washing, um, just keeping everything safe and clean. So, I mean, we're talking maybe like, oh, maybe like 10 times a day. Could be more, could be less. So it depends on all what we're doing. But since then, my hands have really, really started to dry out. So at Christmas time, my friend bought me um, Rituals of Sakura Soothing Hand Balm. This stuff, honestly, it's so good. I'm so grateful I have it. I actually, I think this might be the only hand cream I have in this house. So I think maybe in, maybe it'll do me another couple of weeks and then I'll probably have to repurchase this and buy a new one, but it smells awesome. It feels awesome. It's really nice to use. It doesn't really leave you greasy or sticky. It kind of just dries in after a wee while. So if you're looking for a hand cream to help heal all those chapped hands, then I would recommend, oops, this one. So the next thing I have been using is the Bastille Dry Shampoo. It's quite good, I suppose, at the minute that people maybe don't really need to try and keep washing their hair every day since we don't have to go to work. So we can just kind of freshen it up with this. And yeah, I just like it. It smells great. I'm sure a lot of people know about it. I have got the Floral and Fruity, Flirty, sorry, um, blush. So I think I've also have tried the Tropical one. It's really good as well. But yeah, it's just nice to have, it's handy. And if you're feeling a bit flat, spray it and make it lift. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I have two things left. Um, neither of these are beauty products. One of these is actually Marks and Spencers. Um, so I've already drank it. The Apple Cold Pressed Ginger. Um, I haven't really been able to get out of the house now. My sister has been doing a couple of food drops for me and I asked for one of these. These are just really nice. I drank it like first thing in the morning before I have my breakfast. And it just kind of feels good. It makes me feel like I've had like a wee immune boost kick to my system. I'm really glad that I have a couple of these left in the fridge. If you can get out and about or somebody can get out and about for you, I would definitely recommend them. Give them a try and see what you think. I just like them, it makes me feel good. Okay, so save the best for last. This is actually an item of clothing. And this is... My Lucy and Yak trousers. Yes, these are amazing. These are so comfortable. I love them. I got them about two years ago and they are one of my favorite things to wear. It's nice just to have a bit of color to wear. Usually whenever I'm going to work, all I wear is black, black jeans, black shoes, maybe? My Converse black, can't even remember. Black top. So now that everybody's kind of stuck at home, I'm just kind of like, stuff it, I'm gonna wear some color. These are basically the rainbow and a pair of trousers. I believe that this um, print at the minute is currently sold out. I think it was an exclusive a couple of years ago, but they actually have released another one that's quite similar to it. If you can check it out, I would recommend doing so. So that is it guys. Those are my kind of top things that are helping me through this isolation. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching it. Maybe it'll make you think, oh, maybe I'll go try that out or maybe I've got that line in the house, I'll give it a go. But yes, um, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe and let me know what's helping you through this time. Like maybe it's just something as simple as having your cat there, catching up on FaceTime with old friends who you haven't spoken to in ages or maybe you like to bake. You know, I know a friend who actually just loves makeup. So every day, even though she's got nowhere to go, she's just in her apartment, she's putting on full face makeup. She's feeling good about it. So, you know, maybe that's what you're up to, but leave a message in the comments. Let everybody know what you're doing. Maybe it'll help us all try something new or find something new to try to help us through this. Um, Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Remember to wash your hands and I will see you soon in my next one.